What are these for? Those are great for the chest. I had these really sharp pains, like every time I breathe or move, I couldn't eat, I couldn't sleep. I thought I was gonna die. Went to the doctor, he took some x-rays, found that I ripped all the connective tissue to hose my ribs together. I tore them right off the sternum. Said I got it from doing this exercise. How's that feel? I don't know. It kinda hurts. I used to use 40s for that exercise. Feels like something's ripping. Now all I can do is 30s. <sighs> Feels like something's ripping. <sighs> These creature curls are really fantastic for tearing up your biceps. That's yeah, the angle. You can see how unnatural the angle is. Every rep tears a few more muscle fibers. If you're persistent, you really work at it. It'll be a matter of time before they all snap. You'll know when that happens. Go ahead, you try it. Go ahead. Everybody's got back problems. One of the best exercises for back problems is standing press. Notice the arch in my lower back. This exercise throws an enormous amount of stress on the lower back. We do this exercise on a regular basis and I guarantee you a ruptured disc. At least a ruptured disc. Go ahead, you try it now. This is also great for stress fractures, chronic spasms, lumbar lesions, progressive deterioration of the cervical vertebrae, aggravated degeneration of the uh, scapula process. Let's see, there was something else. Stress fractures, chronic spasms, Lumbar lesions, progressive deterioration of the cervical vertebrae, aggravated degeneration of the scapula process. How many of these do I have to do? It's also one of the best movements for acute tendonitis. Actually, it's not that cute. I really love bench presses. They're fantastic for chronic heart palpitations. Just bounce the weight off your sternum. You know, like everybody does. The old ticker goes crazy. Uh, every once in a while, you'll hear about a complete cardiac arrest. You'll know when that happens. Doesn't happen too often, though. Most people are just not that dedicated. Go ahead, you try it. That looks good. These are fantastic for shoulder separations and torn rotator cuffs. A lot of guys like to do the bench press with dumbbells. The trouble with dumbbells, though, is you don't get the complete shoulder separation. You now, with the dumbbells, I say the most you could hope for is maybe some ruptured ligaments. Should my ears be popping? Should my shoulder blades be cracking? You know, I've been doing those for six months, and I can't do any more weight now than when I first started. Don't worry about it. It's not important. We're all mere athletes in here. You're a mere athlete. I'm a mere athlete. And someday maybe even this guy here will be a mere athlete. A mere athlete doesn't care how much he can lift. When a mere athlete's walking down Venice Beach and he's flexing his biceps, you think anybody cares how much he can lift? You think somebody's gonna walk up and ask him if he can stuff a basketball? Should my shoulder blades be cracking? No pain, no gain. Hey, I thought we were supposed to get some mirrors in here. I mean, how do they expect us to be mirror athletes if we don't have any damn mirrors? That's another thing about weight training. Calms you down, helps improve your disposition. Makes you the kind of guy people want to be around, you know? I have people come up to me all the time and say, you got such a pleasant disposition, you must work out. Main thing to keep in mind is you want to have a balanced workout. Anything you do for the upper body, you do for the lower body, and vice versa. Believe me, there's no better lower body movement than the leg press for tearing the cartilage in your knees. So hey, you try it. Leg presses are also great for the hip joints. One guy I know used to do these all the time. He had to have both joints removed. And they put in these metal sockets. Got rid of the bursitis, but now he squeaks. So uh, how do those feel? Feels like something's popped in my knee. Which one? Both of them. 
Need to catch on quick. What's next? Deadlifts. Take a longer stride. Get more stretch into it. What'd you say these were for? This is by far the best exercise for hernias. I've only been doing these a year and I already had three. It all started with a simple hyperextension. That's the way it starts with most guys. First a simple hyperextension, then a ruptured hyperextension. And before you know it, you've herniated your ruptured hyperextension. And the key here is a long stride. <sighs> Feels like something's ripping. Now there'll be times like during your periods of convalescence when you're gonna have to use less advanced movements. Now you see what that guy's doing? Those are called leg scissors. Leg scissors are similar to lunges, but of course you can't expect the same results. Best you could hope for here is a pull groin, or with a little more effort, maybe a sprained scrotum. But uh, that's about it. The barbarians had the thumbscrew. In medieval times, they had the rack. The Nazis had that spike chair. We got squats. Now old people move like someone put cement in their joints. If you do your full squats, you won't have to wait till you get old. Go ahead, you try it. Squats accelerate the body's natural calcification process. I know guys in their 30s, for instance, who can't even move. Their legs just shriveled up like two beef jerkies. Of course, those guys were really dedicated. They worked though. You don't get something for nothing in this game. What about steroids? Oh, yeah, steroids. Steroids are fantastic for bulking up. Bulk up, get really huge. Then later, when you stop working out and your muscle strength, you got this big sack of sagging skin hanging all over. Of course, that's not the only thing steroids are good for. They make you impotent, they destroy your liver, and your hair falls out. There's nothing like them. Hey, have a good workout. Hey, wait! 